Hi, I'm Ryan T. Higgins. I'm going to be reading my new book, We Will Rock Our Classmates, for you, for Barnes & Noble Storytime. I hope you enjoy it. Before we get started, I'm going to take the dust jacket off and show you what's underneath. This is called the case cover. I made it to look like an album cover. We Will Rock Our Classmates, written and illustrated by me. Penelope Rex was the only T-Rex in her school. Sometimes that made her stand out a little. And sometimes Penelope's classmates didn't see her at all. They just saw a dinosaur. Want to play cops and dinosaurs? You can be the dinosaur. Well, I was hoping to play dentist. Great, we'll be the dentists. You'll be the dinosaur. Have you been flossing? William Amodo's backpack is stuck in your teeth. Dinosaur or not, Penelope loved to play. She loved to read. Good night, tasty moose all wrapped in bologna. Good night, Tasty Goose, with a side dish of pony. Mmm, ponies. And she loved to draw. Wait, I won't eat you. I don't even have any mustard. But the one thing Penelope loved to do more than anything else was to make music. She loved to sing. She loved to play guitar. Penelope loved to rock and roll. So, when Mrs. Noodleman told the class about the school talent show, Penelope was excited. She was also nervous. She wanted to rock her classmates, but could she do it? Also, the sign-up sheet was right next to Walter, the ferocious goldfish. Penelope took a deep breath. She had to do it. She tiptoed past Walter. Then she quickly wrote her name with her bravest purple marker. After school, Penelope shared the big news with her parents. And I'm going to wear a pink tutu and big boots and spike my scales and look angry, but I'll actually be really happy. And oh, it's gonna be so great. She hummed her favorite songs while brushing her teeth. <laughs> she danced all the way to the bus. She even told her classmates about her favorite band, the Weevils. Best band ever. My dad used to go to all their concerts <clears throat> until he accidentally ate the drummer. <laughs> At last, it was time for the rehearsal. Can dinosaurs even play guitar? On stage, Penelope froze. She could not sing. She could not play guitar. She worried that dinosaurs could not rock and roll. Penelope was very quiet on the car ride home. She hardly ate anything for supper. Are you sure you don't want any more, Penny Pie? You've only had 52 burgers. The next day at recess, Penelope sat alone on the bench. She would not play hopscotch. I am a T-Rex not a hopscotcher. She would not play duck, duck, goose. I am not a duck or another duck or a goose. I am a dinosaur. At the end of the day, Penelope crossed her name off the sign-up sheet with her saddest <clears throat> blue marker. When Penelope got home, she went straight to her room. Daddy Rex came in to talk to her. Is everything okay, he asked. I can't be in the talent show, she cried. I'm just a dinosaur. Ah, 
I see, said Daddy Rex. Come with me. Take a look at this photo album of our family. This is your Uncle Frank. He was a figure skater. Oh, and here's your mom finishing her first marathon. And here's me, the world hamburger eating champion. I ate 5,053 hamburgers with ketchup. You see, said Daddy Rex, being a T-Rex is only part of who you are. You, for instance, are kind and caring, creative and adventurous, and you can be anything you want to be. The next day at school, Penelope marched right back over to the sign-up sheet. She looked straight at Walter and almost lost her nerve. But Penelope's classmates had a different idea. Can we play with you in your band, please, Penelope? And that gave her just enough courage. On the night of the talent show, Penelope was really excited and also really nervous. She peeked out from backstage to try to find her parents. When the curtains opened, William Amodo and his amazing animal sounds took the stage. Chirp, roar, howl, tweet, 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 bar, honk, plop. Mabel Hastings and her dancing pony went second. Tappity tap tap, tippity tap 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 tap, tippity tap tap. Then there was the Stegman Brothers' synchronized swimming mimes act, followed by Martina Cortez and her dazzling card tricks. Your card was the Ten of Hearts? No? Was it the Elephant of Spades? Finally, it was Penelope's turn. The lights on the stage were bright, but not as bright as Penelope. We are Penelope and the Mustard Seeds. Penelope was a T-Rex. She was also kind and caring and creative and adventurous. Most of all, Penelope Rex was a rock star. Penelope and the Mustard Seeds came in second place, just behind Mabel Hastings and her dancing pony. That was okay with Penelope. She loved ponies. Mmm. Ponies. The end. Thanks a lot for letting me share my new Penelope book with you. I thought it might be fun to draw a picture of her. So grab yourselves something to draw with and something to draw on, and you can draw along with me. So Penelope starts off as a sideways letter U, like this. There, see, that's a U. This is going to be her nose. And we're gonna make the back of her head here. Just kind of bring it around like that. And it's gonna go past the part of the U right here. It's not gonna connect. It's gonna go just past it, just a little bit. We're gonna put a little smiley face right there. Just a tiny little line at the end of there. That's going to be her head. This is gonna be her neck. We're gonna draw a little bit coming off of there. She's got a tiny little neck for the size head she has. She's got beady eyes that are kind of oval shaped. I color them almost all in black, except for a little dot there in the corner, you'll be able to see. So just like that. And she's got a little eyebrow that rests up there on the top of her head. The front of her nose it's kind of a, a whitish color, an off-white. Um, I'm not gonna color this one for you, but I'm gonna draw the line where her nose turns white. Right there. And she's got some scales, too, that go along the back of her head. They actually run all the way down her back as well. So if you wanted to just do a quick Penelope drawing, you could do something like that, okay? Now I'm gonna draw the rest of her body. That's a little bit trickier. It starts off with her shoulders gonna be right there. 
And off of her shoulder is just a tiny little T-Rex arm. She has little arms. Most of her body, when I'm drawing it, is actually covered up with her pink overalls. So all I'm doing now is I'm just adding the buttons on there and the little front pocket. And then we're gonna do little straps that go over her back right there, connect it to that pocket. Go down here. And as you get down a little ways, about the height of her head. So if you go like this, her head's about that big. That's about how tall her body is too. So I go like this, I go boop, and I measure it. So her body is gonna be to about right there. Now we're gonna draw the bottom of her pants. She's got folded up pant legs there and her feet are pretty big because they need to be able to balance that giant head of hers. Now she has a tail that is about as long as she is tall. We're gonna add the rest of those spikes on there or scales. We're only gonna add a few more things just to finish this off. She has, you know, a lot of people and kids have freckles. She sort of does, but they're bigger. They're more like spots that you might see on like a lizard. So I go like this, she's got little spots. She's got some bigger ones on her tail. And then she's got some little lines on there. Let's see, you know, I think that looks pretty good. I'm gonna sign my name so that you know that I made it. R H I G G squiggle line line dot dot T. There you go, that's how I draw Penelope. When I make her in my books, it takes me about three or four hours. I drew this for you in a couple minutes. So it's a little bit quicker, a little simplified, but if you were able to pause this at home and follow along, you could make a drawing that looks just like this. Well, thanks a lot. Bye.